What's going on guys? Matthew Minnis here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss three different options on where you can park your cash and make a high yield while still maintaining low risk. It's absolutely crazy to me that I know multiple people today that keep tens of thousands of dollars in their checking account or even just a big bank savings account that offers almost no return. The majority of these people don't even know that if they just move their money into something like a high yield savings account, or maybe a CD or a money market fund, they can be getting paid on a monthly basis for doing nothing. One of the best feelings in life is being able to have your own money work for you. That way, in the future, you don't have to work for the man. At least that's my personal goal. So if you work hard for your money and you wanna make it go further, make sure you smash the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, we try to do weekly videos on anything related to personal finance or fitness. So with that said, what are the three options, the pros and cons of each one, on where you can keep your money and get paid? So the first option you have is probably gonna be the most flexible and the most liquid when it comes to having access to your cash. We're gonna talk about high yield savings that are online only, or basically no brick and mortar. So you're not gonna keep your money in a savings account like Chase or Wells Fargo. You're gonna look at options like CIT Bank, which is currently offering a 4.5% return, or even as high as 4.75% in their high yield savings if you put in a minimum amount of money of $5,000. Now I personally use a high yield savings called Ally, which has a lower interest rate, and I use it because I really like the platform. I've been using it for a long time, and it's not worth me taking money out of that and putting it elsewhere, at least all of it, and putting it elsewhere to make you know a half a percent. So for now I'm gonna keep my money there, but if I was to be looking for a new high yield savings account, I'd probably look at something like CIT Bank. Now one thing to keep in mind is these interest rates are effective as of April, 2023. So these yields will change. And luckily, if you're watching this in May, more than likely it's going to increase. So we know on May 3rd, there's gonna be a Federal Reserve meeting where Jerome Powell is gonna come out and he's gonna announce if they're going to keep interest rates the same or if they're gonna raise them. And according to CME Fed Watch tool, there's currently a 73% probability of the Fed raising interest rates by another 25 basis points. So if the Fed goes through with that, more than likely all of these high yield savings are going to increase their interest rates as well, which is awesome. That means you make more money. Now, if you're a consumer and you're looking to borrow money, that is not a good thing. But we're talking about where to keep our cash that we don't need right now in a risk-free environment. So high yield savings, is it risk-free? Well, Yes, it is. It is FDIC insured up to $250,000, just like your normal banks. Obviously, make sure you do your research and make sure you're putting your money in a legitimate bank. But in general, you're going to have access to your money at any time. You'll have to transfer it out to you know your normal checking account or whatever. But typically, there's not going to be penalties for pulling out your money. The great news about these banks, you're going to get compound interest, usually paid out monthly. You do have to pay taxes on it. So the first option for keeping our cash in our emergency funds or whatever is gonna be that high yield savings account which are risk free and offer a high return. But the next two options are gonna offer higher returns. They may not be as risk free, there may be a little bit of risk involved or there may be a little bit of issues with liquidation or there may be penalties for pulling your money out. So we're gonna talk about those. So now option two, and this is where I got the title from because right now there are local credit unions, not available everywhere, but there are some that offer a 6% return if you put your money in a CD or a certificate of deposit. Now what that means is it's very similar to a high yield savings account, except instead you're parking your money with the bank and you're agreeing to keep it with them for a certain amount of months or years. So there's gonna be three month terms, six months, 12 months, 18, you know, it's gonna, the list goes on and on. Typically, the longer you go, you're gonna get a higher yield. However, that is not the case right now because the banks know that in the future, more than likely, the Federal Reserve is gonna lower their rates. But right now, you can get some strong offers as high as 4.95% for just a three month certificate of deposit. So I like to look at Fidelity, and I just purchased one of these myself, and my sister bought one as well, where we're keeping our money in here for three months so that we can get that high yield. I'm getting a significantly higher yield on my CD than I am versus my high yield savings. So I took my personal emergency fund and my home emergency fund and I parked it in there. Now, if the world was to end and I absolutely needed that money, I could take it out and I would just face a penalty. Typically, it's going to be the interest you've accrued. However, you just need to make sure you look up what you're putting your money in first to verify. Some CDs don't offer any penalties at all, but typically there is going to be one. So if you sign up for a six month CD, you've gotta make sure that you plan on keeping it up until that maturity date, which is gonna be six months later. 
Now the interesting thing about CDs is you're locked into that rate for that time period. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion and a strategy that I'm doing that you may find interesting. So, you know, we'll get to that a little bit later. But like I said, when it comes to CDs, just go on Google, look up CDs with the highest rates and you're gonna see all different options. Make sure it fits what your time horizon's gonna be. If you're gonna need that money in less than a year, then don't do a two year CD but you know, look for what's best for you and your family. And the last thing I wanna say is when it comes to risk-free, yes, CDs are not going to lose money. They are gonna be FDIC insured, but technically, does FDIC insurance even matter nowadays? I mean, look what happened with Silicon Valley Bank. So now let's talk about the third option. And this one's interesting. This one's gonna take a little bit more effort on your end because you're gonna to have to watch the interest rates because they're gonna vary. So it's not like a CD where you're locked in or a high yield savings account where you're gonna get an email every single month on what it's changing to. These are gonna be money market funds. And the perfect example of this is one that's really popular right now. It's offering a 4.48% return or a seven day yield. And when I say seven day yield, what that means is they've looked at the return over the last seven days. And if you were to annualize that, you would receive a 4.48% return. Now it's been going up considerably. And like I talked about with high yield savings accounts, more than likely the same thing is gonna happen with these. But where is this money? What is the money market fund? Well, with Fidelity, if you have a brokerage account with them, whenever you sell out of a security and you have cash sitting in your brokerage account, your money's gonna be sitting in what they call their core holding. And you can set your core holding to a couple different options, one of them being FDIC insured, and then some of them being money market funds like SPAXX. So your money is held in something like SPACs while you're waiting for the perfect opportunity to put your money back in the market, back in the stocks or the ETFs that you want to invest in. Now you may be wondering, are they risk-free? Well, they are technically not risk-free and it will say that right on their website. They make it very clear. There is a chance that you could lose money by keeping your money in this fund. However, because SPACs keeps its money in ultra short term, high quality debt instruments like T-bills or inflation protected securities or repurchase agreements, the risk is going to be extremely low. There is a time in the past where people have kept their money in a money market fund and it has decreased. It actually went from a dollar net asset value down to 97 cents. And this was a massive fiasco because people lost confidence in these funds. That specific thing happening again is going to be very rare. And it's even less of a risk with a strong company like Fidelity. However, you do have to note there is no FDIC insurance. Although, like I said, is that really important nowadays? There is, because it's a security, SIPC insurance up to $500,000. And basically that protects you from if the company was to go out of business, if the company was to lose all of its cash and go out of business. So at the end of the day, with these money market funds like SPACs, like we just talked about, you're gonna be getting those monthly interest payments. It's gonna vary based on the federal funds rate. And right now, in a rising interest rate environment, more than likely, keeping your money in a money market fund is going to offer potentially higher yields in the future. But when we pause, or we start to lower interest rates, you're just gonna to wanna to keep an eye and make sure you start to move that money elsewhere, somewhere where you might get a longer term high yield, or maybe you wanna go a bit more risk on. Typically, in low interest rate environments, you may wanna be a little bit more risky, but that's completely up to you as the investor and what you're comfortable with. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor and this video is not financial advice. The point of this video is just to show you guys that there's three different options, whether it's high yield savings, certificate of deposits, or money market funds, where you can be making money just by holding your money on the sidelines, waiting for an opportunity. Whether you're saving for a house, whether you're saving for a car, or you're waiting for a dip in the stock market, you're gonna be making money and it's gonna be mostly risk-free. The last thing I wanna mention is what am I doing personally? Well, I already mentioned that I did buy a short-term CD three months from Fidelity, and I actually got 4.85% and it is higher now, but you know, not that big of a deal. However, in the next three months when my maturity date comes up, I will probably do the same thing again. I will do another short-term, but I may not. I'm gonna keep my eye on that CME Fed Watch tool, and if it seems likely that interest rates are going to stay the same or start to lower, I may look for a longer term CD. I might wanna lock in a high 5% interest rate for a year or two years. Because at this point in my life, as long as nothing changes, I don't really need access to that cash and I do want it to still be cash. Not sure what's gonna happen, we're gonna have to play things by ear, but that is what I'm looking at. If interest rates start to go down, I'm gonna look for a longer term holding to keep my payments higher and still risk free. So I wanna know from you guys, where are you keeping your money right now? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. I do my best to answer 
all comments on all my videos. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. I will see you hopefully next week. Take care.